amazing YouTube friends. Welcome back to another edition of Auto Details with V and Pray for Snow Auto Detailing. So excited you're here, and today we're going to talk about something I use on every single detail. We are going to talk about rags. We'll start off here to my right with wash mitts. Now, I'm a huge fan of these microfiber wash mitts. I have used a ton of them. They usually have the insert, which makes it an actual mitt. I never ever use this feature. I don't know why. No, I shouldn't say never ever, but I hardly ever use this feature. Don't know why, I just don't really like it. But I think my favorite one if I had to choose was this guy from the Rag Company. I bought them in a set and these ones work really well. I uh, thing that I like to focus on when using these is that you always wash, because <laughs> unlike pressure washing where it doesn't matter if you go from bottom to top or top to bottom, with these, if you're going to be washing a panel on a vehicle, you want to start at the top because road grime or whatever, your risk of scratching is greater if you start on the bottom because all of that road grime collects down there. So if you put something in the mitt and you haven't rinsed the mitt off yet and then you wash up, it's a bad idea. So I typically start at the top and then rinse to the bottom or rinse wash to the bottom. And then once I get down there, I definitely, definitely rinse it out. And Ken, the organizer, did a video on the one bucket method by two bucket. I'm a huge fan right now of the two bucket method. I need to give that one bucket method a try. I just haven't had a chance. So regardless, after washing your quarter panel or a section of the vehicle, rinse out your mitt. Very, very important because the microfiber actually does a really good job to grip all of those little dust, all of those, all of that little dust and debris. Once the vehicle's clean, in some cases, you are going to towel dry. When I towel dry, I really dig the gauntlet here from the rag company. Big, absorbent, two-sided. I don't know how it would be two-sided, but you can use both sides to dry. When I do it, because any friction against that clear coat can cause scratching, it has a risk or carries a risk of scratching, I like to spray a little bit of Optimum No Rinse on there, just a little bit on both sides, just so it's not completely dry when you start. When I'm doing paint correction and sometimes a few other projects, you want to be careful with all of the exterior, any exterior thing that touches that paint because it has the risk of scratching. But when I'm doing paint protection, paint correction, there we go. I like this towel from the chemical guys. It's edgeless, which is not my favorite, but it seems like these have standed the test of time. They're a little bit more durable for a lot of detailing. So for post paint correction, when I need to wipe off, whether it's the polish or the cutting or the compound. I like this towel right here. When I do a ceramic coating and sometimes on normal details, I've kind of changed methods over the years, but when I do a paint protection, a, like a ceramic coating, you need to remove all the oils. The rag that I have found is the best for that is this Eagle Edges. Now these aren't as tough, which is why I don't use these for the wipe off of the compound or polish, but these, meaning they don't last as long, but these Eagle Edges, obviously you can see that they have no edge, hence the name. They are super, super soft and really awesome on the paint, which is great because you don't want that last step before you do the paint correction, or excuse me, the paint protection. You don't want anything to scratch your paint at all because I don't know, it's silly, so. When applying the paint protection, I really like the combo from the chemical guys of their applicating pads, as well as those older, they've got an edge on them, so I'm really careful when I wipe off, but I use the older chemical guys, microfiber towels, I don't know if they have a cool name, I use those to wipe off. Now, when I do any of my rags, actually we'll talk about washing later, I'm sorry. We're gonna talk about washing in a second. When moving from the wonderful exterior to the awesome interior, I'm a huge fan of those three from the Rag Company. Reason I like those is because they, they've held up really well. I've ordered quite a few sets, uh, same color so that I can have some consistency for you, my epic viewers, but these three have been, or this, this set, these multiple sets that I have ordered have been just awesome. They are the exact same material for all of them, and they do have an edge, so you do have to be careful in some areas, but 
they're the same material. So when I use the different colors for the different purposes, it's only for you, my epic viewers. When you watch these videos habitually, like of course I recommend that you do, when you do that, I want you to see that when I use the dark ones, you know I'm doing plastic cleaning. When I use the gray ones, it is when it's I'm doing the plastic protection or leather, whatever. But those dark gray ones, or the dark blackish ones, I think they're dark blue, but those dark ones, the reason I use those for cleaning is because they're less likely to stain than the lighter gray ones, and I clean some disgusting stuff off of all different parts of that interior. So I use those because they're less likely to stain. The gray ones, I just use them for the correct, or that dressing of the plastic just because I want to, and the red, I don't like red, so I use those for windows. Irrelevant, not irrelevant, I just, I just don't care for them. It has been such a long time, but I ordered a bunch of kits from Chemical Guys, and part of it was this leather protection kit, or leather cleaning, uh, leather kit, and this, this one came with it, so I use this when I dress the leather, or when I protect the leather, depending on which product I'm using. If I'm using Carpro Pearl, like I have been lately, because I really like its performance, I'm just gonna use the normal plastic protection, just to do the leather as well, because it's the same product, and there's no difference there, and these are, the Rag company ones are soft enough that they're not gonna damage the leather, but I can say that these Chemical Guys ones are super soft, they're really nice. No detailer, absolutely no detailer can have all of their normal rags that they have for their normal purposes and not have some just whatever rags. So I have a bunch of those. Uh, I have some, for example, this guy right here, these are part of my whatever rags. I think these were a gift from my in-laws. I don't know, they're really big but the, the fibers in them aren't as nice and I just didn't want to do anything with paint with these and they're too big for interior so I, I'm not gonna waste and it was a really nice gift. I actually use these to protect the top of the vehicle when I hang the lights on it. I added a weird inflection on the top of the vehicle. It was like a question, question. When I put the lights on the top of the vehicle, I use these to protect that paint as well as I protect the wood on my awesome cabinets here from the when I fill up the foam cannons and whatnot. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would do it somewhere. No, this is, this is where I do it, even if I'm not filming. So yes, I do it here, but I use this to protect the wood so that water doesn't get everywhere, or shampoo. These ones are just super duper old garbage throwaway rags that I use to wipe, wipe off my hands. I apply the tire dressing with them, and yeah, it's super, super gross ones that I just don't use that much anymore. And then I have the assorted rags from different things I've ordered over the years. I mean, there's just a pile of these like, I don't know, more throwaway, but they don't match this set, so they're kind of different. And you have to have a ton of rags to, like I said, clean off your hands, wipe off countertops, wipe off my cabinets. I just, you, when you detail, you have a ton of rags. Now, let's talk about washing. When I wash my microfiber towels, I have my little discard bucket here, my laundry basket, if you will. When I wash, I make sure to wash the exterior rags separate from the interior rags. Why do I do that? Well, interior rags get super gross. I found a fingernail or a toenail on one of these one time. It's so disgusting. But before I put them into the wash, I will, depending on how gross they are, sometimes I will rinse them out, do like a pre-wash out here in the garage, and then I'll take them into the washer. But I make sure to separate them, make sure to go through them pretty carefully before I put them in the washer, because if there's anything, any, rock or debris or anything really gross in them. I wanna make sure to take that out beforehand. But I wash them in my normal washer on a fairly normal cycle, maybe a little bit heavier duty. And I try and use, well I use a not an unscented dead washing soap. It's not liquid, it's a powder. But I use that, I've actually used, I think I used, I'm trying to remember, it was Chemical Guys and Adams, I think both of them and somebody else. I've used a bunch of the microfiber cleaners from all of these different companies. I didn't find any higher rate of success with those cleaners versus the normal dishwashing or dishwashing, normal clothes washing soap that is unscented because you don't want any of that because it, it'll just tank the microfiberness of it, just clogs up those pores or whatever it does. I'm not a scientist, I have no idea. But I know it doesn't work. So you don't want to tank your rags because it's expensive. And if you detail as much as I do, and I know a lot of you do, you end up washing a ton of rags. So I wash exterior and interior rags separately. And then when I bring them out here, I've shown them on camera quite a few times. I lay, make sure the countertop is clean, 
I lay each rag out very carefully and then I rub my hands over every fiber on there and if there is any contaminant, I will take it out. If there's any foreign material, I will take it out and I judge the rags as I'm doing that to see whether or not they need to be thrown away. I have tanked, I actually ordered a ton of these Chemical Guys ones and I have tanked so many of them. These are a bit stained now. I don't know why you'd make a rag this color. They're a bit stained from wiping off the paint protection over the years or over the time. They get dirty or they stain when I wipe off the paint protection. So I end up doing a lot of inspecting all of the towels before I put them back in the cupboard and deciding whether or not they need to be tanked. Again, there's a cost with throwing away towels, but there's a greater cost with damaging the customer's vehicle, which I cannot stand for. So I don't do it. <laughs> I'm just very, very careful. Oh, and drying. I guess I should probably talk about drying. I almost spaced it. When I dry, no heat and until they're dry. Well, no, I do it about 60, 70 minutes. Typically, even if I have a ton of towels in there, I don't have a, it, it, it usually works really well to dry them for 60 minutes with just air blowing through there and they'll dry pretty well. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but no heat. If you do high heat, you will melt the microfiber and tank it. You might as well just toss it in the garbage. So I don't do it. My epic friends, thank you for hanging out with me today. And that was it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.